Just so we're all on the same page, this video is from the summer. June. Yes, as in 10 months ago. It's when I was visiting my brother in Austin, Texas. All I can say is better late than never, right? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. In case you don't know who I am, I'm Ellie Tinker. I'm a pretty average CrossFitter. I'm in college. That's about it. <laughs> I'm currently in Austin, Texas, visiting my brother who is right up, right up there somewhere. Basically today we're hanging out, working out, and eating some food. And I'll give you a hint, it's really not that special. <laughs> you saw what I had for breakfast, just a nice fat bowl of yogurt. That's a good too. I get tired of eating stuff, like the same stuff all the time. I've been having a lot of oatmeal, so now I need a break. So now I'm having yogurt. I might have a breakfast burrito. We'll see, but I like to switch it up. Currently, I'm just sitting here editing. We've got a couple errands to run later. Do that when we're going out for the gym. Probably eat again soon. I get hungry, like, very quickly. <laughs> Crazy how that happens when you work out a <laughs> When you work out a lot. Finished editing. Now I'm hungry, so we eat. since I last ate. But I am hungry again, but we're going to the gym soon. And I just want a little something. I'm taking this. I'm making like a little mug cake type thing in the microwave because I don't know, it sounds good. Whole milk, calories, protein, we want them. That's good. That's what I wanted. I wanted something sweet. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. A little bit hot. Low-key like dessert, but no one said you can't have a little bit of dessert before you go to the gym. <laughs> we are finally out of the house. This kid has been working all day. The sun is out. I am boiling. It's like 4.30ish for time reference. It's what I've eaten up until 4.30. You can see the city from here. Wow. You'll never believe where we're finally at. It's the gym, guys. It's the gym. Today has been super uneventful up until this point, so I hope you're not bored. <laughs> for the most part, my training recently has been a lot of lifting one day and then like a Metcon, and then the next day is more like skill-based, heavy gymnastics type of stuff. I'm gonna warm up and then I'm gonna get that going. Enjoy! left then I'm done with my lifting squat cleans I got 2.5 pounds higher than I did my first week of this cycle so I guess a little win small win I'll take it and then clean pulls actually felt kind of light not gonna lie normally clean pulls feel super heavy because they're you know at like a hundred plus percent I'm impressed now I just got a front squat two seconds down and then stand up quickly quickly is relative my squats are bad so they're semi quick 84% which is still really light it sucks but we're working on it I definitely peed 
a little bit on that last set. Not only did I, not only did I pee a little bit, I also think I farted a little bit. I have this whole little room to myself. Isn't that nice? feel very out of shape. Um, I'm really sweaty right now. Picking the kettlebells up after doing seven burpee box jump overs really fast is just like, it's just terrible. It's just not, <laughs> just not fun. And I am just not fit enough right now to do that without feeling like I'm dying. And that's okay. We're working on it. And now I just have kettlebell accessory stuff. It's a crime scene. It's me. I'm the victim of the crime scene. <laughs> I left little sweat arms from laying on the ground. Oh, there's some sweat thighs over there. Okay. Well, that was fun. It makes your upper body and your shoulders and your upper back just feel so, so used, you know? And the boys joined me, so I wasn't lonely. Normally, I'll like have one of the little squeezy applesauce things at the gym, but since I ate like right before we went, I wasn't really hungry. But now we're at the store. So now I am hungry, and it's dinner time. Tuna delight. What's wrong with faded? Oh, you mean the label? Yeah, I can't read this. I think it's the 26th, right? Half salmon, half tuna nigiri. That sounds so good. Edamame, fries, chicken. That just like shouldn't exist. What in the world? Like that is huge. It has a horn. Texas is a little bit crazy sometimes. He's a cooking boy. I cooked last night, so he's cooking tonight. And I'm about to go shower. Rice, edamame, orange sauce. Look how good that looks. Mmm. Oh, I thought I was gonna burp. I'm still hungry. So I'm getting some more because that's what you do when you're still hungry. Round two. I am so tired. <laughs> I've been reading for the past little bit. Now I'm gonna eat just a little bit more and then I'm gonna go to bed. I'm having half a protein cookie and some Sour Patch Kids. A kind of a weird combo, but I don't care. It sounds good. to the end of the video just a casual 10 months later yes i totally chopped 13 inches off of my hair between now and then if you want to watch the video go watch it it's uh it's a time but anyways as you can see i don't do anything special i don't track macros i don't weigh out my food i am a big believer in balance and as much as i love fitness and competing i am not gonna sacrifice enjoyment and having a healthy balanced life for it <laughs> i pretty healthy i make sure i get in my protein but like if i want some ben and jerry's i will chow down on the whole pint and not feel guilty <laughs> food is fuel it is supposed to be enjoyable you truly cannot train and be the athlete you want to be if you're not eating enough hey, back in my gymnastics days i used to struggle with that not eating enough feeling guilty wanting to be as thin as possible but clearly i've gotten over that and it has been one of the greatest things i've done for myself listening to your body is one of the best things you can do if you're hungry eat if you're full stop eating if you're craving something go have it i mean your craving will only get worse if you don't satisfy it and as far as labeling foods i do not like labeling foods as good and bad food is food fuel is fuel i think that plays a big part in not feeling guilty i just see food as food and i know myself now i know like if i overeat i will feel gross so i stop when i'm full stop when i'm satisfied and that's it maybe i eat the whole pint of ice cream maybe i only have a few spoons but what i'm feeling is what i do and i know that's a way that doesn't necessarily work for everyone but I truly believe that you can train yourself to be that way I was definitely not that way I used to freak out 
about food. <laughs> All I can say, especially if you're into the gym, if you play sport, if you're into fitness, you would not drive your car empty. You cannot drive a car on an empty tank again. So why would you try to train without giving yourself any fuel? You need carbs. Carbs are your friend. Protein is great. That's for rebuilding. Carbs are your friend. That is your fuel. Do not be afraid. Eat pasta. Eat a bagel. It will be okay. The world will not stop spinning. So here's a reminder that you can reach your goals while having balance, while enjoying ice cream and going out with friends and family. But yeah, that's all I have. Hope you enjoyed. Sorry I edited this so incredibly late, but you know, life be crazy, man. <laughs> Peace out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Stay sexy, stay sweet. Tell them, Herm. Okay, bye. Stay sexy, stay sweet.